Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you are watching Electric Vehicle. In this video, we'll talk about three ways of charging your electric vehicle battery. You'll also come to know which is the best way to charge your battery. And if you happen to like this video, then please like, share, subscribe and comment so that we know that you liked it. So there are three ways to charge your battery. One is the slow charging. Second is the fast charging and third is of course the battery swapping. Now before we start this video, let me tell you upright that the best way to charge your battery is by slow charging it. Now let's talk about the reasons why slow charging is the best way to charge your battery. Number one reason is of course you become independent. You can charge your battery at your home at your convenience. Second reason is this is the cheapest way and uh, cheapest in terms of finance. This is the cheapest way to charge your battery. Let's say you have an Ola S1 Pro. It comes with a battery capacity of 3.9. Let's assume it's 4 kilowatt hour for simplicity of calculation. 4 kilowatt hour, which means it will consume 4 units of electricity. Let us assume that the charge per unit in your place is some, somewhere around 7, 8, 10. Let's, let's assume it is 10 rupees, again for simplicity of calculation. So 4 units, 10 rupees, which means 40 rupees is what you need to charge your battery from 0 to 100 percent. Once you've charged your battery from 0 to 100 percent at 40 rupees, you will get a real life range of 135 kilometers, which means 40 rupees, 135 kilometers. It cannot get any cheaper than that. Wait, I think it can. So the government is pushing for EV charging infrastructure everywhere in the country. You, you know this from the budget. So organizations, companies, offices are setting up charging infrastructure in their parking lot, which means if you desire to charge your vehicle at your workplace, you are not paying anything to charge your vehicle. Now, depending on the charger that your company has provided, your charging time will vary. Now I have a uh, just two, two data here. Six ampere charger, if your company has provided you a six ampere charger, then that costs them around 2,300 rupees. For you, it means a four to five hour of charging time. If the company has provided you with a 15 ampere charger, which is uh, which costs them 4,000 rupees, and for you, it means around two hours of charging time. Now, mind you, every uh, battery has a charging capacity, which is denoted by the number C irrespective of the size of or, or kilowatt hour or the capacity of your battery, if your battery comes with a rating of 1C, which means your battery will be charged in one hour. 2C means half an hour. So always keep in mind that lithium ion chemistry does not like fast charging. Anything less than one hour is not something that your battery will be happy undergoing, which means the longest battery life that you can extract from your battery is possible only if you charge it slowly at your home. Now let's talk about fast charging. Fast charging means DC fast charging. See what happens in your vehicle, there's an onboard converter which converts AC to DC. That comes into play when you're charging your vehicle at home where we get AC charge, AC current. Now when you take it to a DC fast charger, the DC current bypasses this onboard converter. It doesn't need a converter anymore. It's already DC, right? It is directly pumped into your battery, which forces large amount of current, uh, electrons to be precise, from anode to cathode. This movement of current in large quantity drives up the temperature. Of course, it charges the battery fast, but it also drives up the internal temperature of your battery, which means either grade A or grade B cells are capable of handling this temperature rise. Also, the BMS has to kick in to regulate this temperature, which means if you have good battery pack, if you have good BMS, your battery will support fast charging, but it is expensive. DC fast charging is extremely expensive. Second, since your battery does not like this sudden shift of temperature, it is also detrimental to your battery's health. And that is the reason why companies uh, th that come up with vehicles supporting fast charging will always recommend that you use it sparingly. I read a blog recently. It's not, I read it recently, but the blog was an old one, of course. So this is from, a com uh, from an owner who owns uh, a Tesla. Now he wrote a blog complaining that my car is not accepting charge anymore. When I read that blog, I came to know that uh, Tesla had warned him not to use uh, DC fast charger as frequently as he did. In fact, not just frequently, he would, he would use it regularly. Being lazy and too rich that he was, I guess, he would only visit DC fast chargers. He would never charge his vehicle at home. That fast charging was very bad for his battery and Tesla had to forcefully shut down that. Same kind of recommendation is what Ather gives us. Maybe four to five times a month, 
जस्ट इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी डोंट यूज इट एवरी डे स्लो चार्जिंग इज द बेस्ट वन इज वॉट दे विल रिकमेंड इफ एनी वन फ्रॉम एथर और ओला हैज अ स्पेसिफिक नंबर दैट द कंपनी हैज टोल्ड दैन प्लीज लेट एस नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन नाउ द थर्ड वे टू चार्ज योर बैटरी इज ऑफकोर्स द बैटरी स्वेपिंग वे we've already made a detailed video about it and all of you have put in some really good comments in there we came to know a lot from the comment section two things is what we'll discuss why they are taking a uh, swap charge or uh, or the uh, subscription charges and the second thing the biggest advantage of battery swapping let's talk about it so once you've taken a battery swapping as a service you'll be paying two kind of charges one is of course per swap you'll be paying a charge now why is that that is because the uh, swap station is charging the battery for you the second charge that you you will pay is a monthly subscription now that is because they have to set up their infrastructure they have to pay for their employees and uh, they are taking a very important risk on behalf of you the biggest advantage of battery swapping is this that you never own a battery which means you never own the risk of your battery dying down on you after 3 years after 4 years or at most after 5 years which means you don't have to worry about buying a replacement battery in the entire life cycle of your vehicle this is all for this video Let us know your thoughts in the comment section please like and subscribe this channel and uh, we'll meet again go green go electric